guys uh been a minute been pretty busy i uh, just wanted to catch up with you guys i don't remember exactly where we left off uh hadn't been flying much i've just I almost give up my drones uh i mean they're i still got them but uh i don't know i've lost interest in them uh for right now anyway that, that's the way i guess the way i roll though i do something for a while and then i move on to something else and then i might i might revisit it later uh but I think the last thing I showed you was I got a new golf cart, the red one. Uh, I had a black one, and then I got a red one. So I've got two golf carts now. All right, since then, since then I have uh, met a new friend. Uh, we, we call him Country. And he wanted me to help him build a track, uh, uh, like a 700cc track, and to do two donuts with, set real low to the ground. And... Uh, for doing all that he gave me a bunch of parts he gave me this uh polaris explorer and uh which you know it, it's it needs a lot of work i mean there ain't, ain't no fixing this there ain't no fixing this polaris explorer i mean probably could but i ain't about to i need it for parts i already took the clutches off of it and the clutches alone uh polaris clutches they're they worth like uh, about 800 bucks you know 400 dollars a piece you can get the aftermarket ones for like 100 but Anyway, uh, he gave me an old four-wheeler frame. I done cut the front end of it out and got it sitting over here to the side. Uh, he, he gave me a, let's go in here. He gave me this uh, buggy here. Uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what kind it is. It was a General Lee at some point in time. Uh, Badass looking rad. I got to build a rear end for it. Uh, it's missing. And my, my tea bucket seats fit perfect in there, man. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I got that on hold, though. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with it. I, all I do know, uh, he gave me this motor. It's a 250 Ninja, Ninja R motor. Uh, 2017 model, I believe it is. It caught on fire. And uh, the motor's fine, though. It got the carbs, water-cooled. I uh, just got to order me one of them little uh, electronic kits from Amazon from eBay or something to get the CDI box and all that. Oh, well, here's the coil. I mean, here's the uh, here's the clutches I took off the, the Polaris out there. Like I say, these these original clutches, they're about $400 a piece. Uh, this is the driven clutch and that's the drive clutch over there. Works perfect. I already tried them. Now, they was corroded and I dumped them in acid. I got this acid that just eats away aluminum, boy. <laughs> and I dumped them in a vat of that for a couple of minutes and pull them out and wash them off and then you got to soak them in uh, water and vinegar to, to stop the acid reaction but they turned out great it's really shiny aluminum under there everybody know but that aluminum I mean, I mean that uh, acid I use turns them black but that's the quickest way to clean aluminum if you don't really care what it looks like afterwards this one had a lot of rust right in here in this on this journal a lot of rust that, that journal is about twice that size but I put it on my lay in there and I turned it down to, to where I got good steel again. Then I mic'd it and then I had to make a, a bushing to go in here on the second, on the, in the piece, piece that slides up and down. I had to make a brass bushing so everything would fit back right. But it works great now. And I had just ordered me two clutches from, uh, from eBay. $100 a piece. The driving driven from one of my golf carts. But I needed two sets anyway because I got two golf carts. So anyway, I'm, that's what, I'm good. Oh, uh, what else? Let's see here. Uh, oh, I, t I got my black golf cart tore down. Uh, I, that's, I, pu I, put my, I put my side by side on hold. I, I drove it the other day. It done okay. I see it's going to do okay, but it, it, it's uh, clutches are slipping in it and whatnot and smokes a little bit. So I'll finish that some other time. When I, Right now, I want to get my golf cart going, man. The golf cart to me is the ticket. Uh, I love my mama so much, and uh, I got to have my own. So anyway, here's the body I took off man and the windshield and I got all the pieces here laid out I, I gave them a good washing Somebody painted it with damn old spray paint Whew, Hate that But I'll get around it Anyway, it's all turned out good. And here's my frame over here We fit to modify it uh, First thing I did was uh took a wire brush and it had a lot of rust underneath it, you know most of them do but I took a wire brush to it 
got rid of most of the rust that I could, and then I took uh, some some rust stopper stuff. You, you paint on it, or you put it on. It's like water, it turns the rust black, and seals it. And then you paint over it. So I I did that, and then I painted it with uh with some uh, truck bed liner underneath. I only had enough just to do the bottom. And then I come along with two cans of uh, rust oleum black and put over top of that and coated the whole thing real good. So uh, she's in good shape, man. I mean, I'm happy with it. I got a good frame to go with. I'm probably going to do away with the leaf springs and put shocks back there. Uh, don't know yet how I'm going to do that exactly. I'm going to make me a, I'm going to make me a little box in here and hook it to the axle. It, it has to ride with the axle uh, in order to do the motor like I want to do it. All right, the front end here, this is the front end off of the ATV, the, the one over there, the Honda. All right, I'm going to put the, see, this thing had weird suspension under it, man. It was like two leaf springs up here in the front. I don't know. i never seen nothing like it. Them easy go people, they're crazy. And then these little struts here. Well, I'm doing away with all that. I'm, I'm, I'm undoing the struts, the things and the struts here and just pulling the whole front end off. And then I'm going to replace it with this front end off of this ATV I cut out yesterday. Because it's got... It's got A-frame suspension and all that, you know. Uh, it should fit right under there. Weld it. And it, it's the, the wheels are the right width and everything. If anything, they're a little bit wider than the original golf cart. And then we'll have a good, good bumper up here and everything. It's going to be sharp. I'm just getting started on it, though, guys. And it takes a while to build something like this. Like I say, that'll get slid. That'll get slid back. And, and, and up into here and welded and it should be wicked I've already test front, put my nose piece back up there and made sure everything was going to work alright I believe it will uh, so that's what I've been up to guys that and riding my mama's golf cart around in the evenings <laughs> and going over and visiting my friend Cole my cousin, cousin Cole and uh, like I say I've been going and seeing uh, country He's a pretty cool cat, y'all like him. He's a big old fella. Big tattoos all over him. Scary looking, really. <laughs> but he's, he's like a big old teddy bear. Uh, and I was, right now my damn, uh, right now my lace tore up on me. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I got it pulled out here. I had somebody come down and help me pull it out. And, uh, I don't know. I gotta check, I gotta check it out. Uh, it's done this once before. It does this. See, the motor won't hardly turn. It tries to turn, but it won't. It almost, it's almost like the capacitors went out on it or something, but uh, I don't believe that's it this time. I, I think it maybe it's dropped a leg or something trying to run off 110. It's 220. I really don't know. I got I say, I hadn't really checked it out good yet. Uh, always something, though. Uh I tell you, it's been hell trying to do anything. Uh, getting low on steel, too, guys. Been hell trying to do anything, though, man. I, here lately, I've been working so hard, I reckon. And I've gotten this, uh, you know, the, how they get the uh, corporal tunnel crap. Yeah, yeah, man, that shit tearing me up. I get up in the morning, for about 4 o'clock. I can't feel neither arm. Tingling and pain. And, and now I'm getting arthritis, I do believe. Hell, this morning and yesterday... I got a couple fingers here. I can't hardly bend. And my knuckles. Mom says, Mom says it's arthritis. Hell. I guess I'm getting old, guys. Sucks to get old. <sighs> but first I'm going to build the black golf cart. And uh, somewhere along in there probably we'll do country's track. And then I'm going to go. Then I'm going to build this. I need to build something with. I need to build something for my mama to ride up and down here from the house she likes the golf cart but she won't she won't she ain't never drove it I well she has drove it but she wants an electric she wants electric hey electric ain't worth a damn guys I mean it ain't not unless you think not unless you got plenty of money to where you can buy the good lithium shit you know if you just try to use the, the old timey type uh, batteries or trying to put car batteries or something on it and deep cell cycle batteries shit don't work and don't you ain't got enough power for nothing but what I thought about trying to do was make her or something small she don't need nothing big. Just make her a little one-seater like a little go-kart, golf cart. Say, a golf cart to half the size of a normal golf cart. And I got some old wheelchair motors in there, big ones. And uh, brand new. 
I could put a couple of them on it to, to drive it. That way I could use car batteries. No further than she got to go from the house down to here, you know, it probably worked pretty good. And I, I think I could use the front end off of this golf cart as my starting point. But that's way on in the future. All right, guys. That was just a quick update. Okay, guys. Uh, here's what she looks like without all them body panels in the way or on it. In case you're just wondering, curious. I still got a lot of cleanup on my wheels to do. But, uh. Got it run there good. Did a whole lot of welding. A whole lot of fabricating. But she's under there. And it looks wicked. And it's good. It's in good shape. Okay guys, so it's been a day or two. Uh check out the check out this puny golf cart front end. That's what I took out from under the front end. Now let me go show you what I put under it. I'm building me a badass ride, boys. Mm. People are going to see it and hear it coming. Cause they're, oh, damn, I have that rally boy again. <laughs> oh, check it out, guys. I built me a bad bitch. I mean a bad bitch. I got, uh, I built the bumper. And I built the, the top here. I already had the back cage back there like that's the reason I built this one like like I did so it kind of match uh, the back one's just sitting on there for right now I still got to do the rear end uh, right now I'm just concentrating on the front end trying to get it all done I put me a tow thing here to be pulling me out if I get stuck got my winch in here got me some good LED lights I still got to be painted and all that and ground down but man I've, I've got her in there I got to uh, like I say I got good a-frame suspension now got guards right here to keep it from uh, you hit stuff uh, right now I got a fair I'm working on my steering I got to figure my steering out uh, and I made a boo-boo um, when you let my windshield down now it's supposed to latch right here and here of course I know my windshield dirty I need to clean it up probably gonna have to get a new one but uh, my bar I put here won't let my windshield go all the way down see it's supposed to latch here and you can't anymore so it'd probably rattle it kind of looks like a military jeep. <laughs> that wasn't the look I was going for. Uh, I was going for a uh, badass uh, hunting buggy vibe. I could put bigger tires on it too. I, 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 the, that's that's the small ones I got on there now. Uh, I got some. It's about four or five inches taller. So uh, the headlight right there's gonna do pretty good. Let me set the camera down, guys, and I'll show you the suspension it's got now. Yeah, before it didn't have no suspension at all. Not, not none to speak of, really. Maybe you can see it. Now check this shit out, guys. Now that's, now that's some suspension there. I'm tickled to death with it. I just got some of the body panels stuck on there for right now. They're just, they just loose. Uh, everything's got to be put back together. Like I say, I'm figuring out my steering. I've been busting my ass on it though, guys. And now uh, I'm gonna be putting, like I say, I done used the front half of this Honda. That's the suspension, suspension I got out of it. So the rear half here, it's got the same shocks. It's got them good gas type shocks. Uh, so I'm gonna be pulling the shocks off of here at least and uh, putting them on the back of it. And probably trying to do away with the leaf springs if I can. I have these shocks back there, I may have to I may have to put a four link on it or something. Or whatever you call that, a sway bar. I don't know what you call that shit. And my motor's going to go right in here. And uh, I'm going to have to build me a, a square box I'm out of steel here with a plate on it from a motor set on. And it's got to be it's got to be sitting on the axle or, or tied to the axle somehow or another. So when the axle moves, the thing moves the same uh same way, I don't forget how it goes. Anyway, it's got to for your belt uh, and all to stay straight and not get slack in it. Damn skeeters! You gotta, it's gotta be uh, pivoted. I figure all that out. I can't remember now. I'm tired. Oh, and uh, I wasn't gonna have no rear end. I mean, I wasn't gonna have no reverse. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking strongly. I, I think I may have the solution. 
this old Polaris here. She's got a gearbox right here. Chain driven gearbox. On one side. On the other side is that Polaris clutch come off of. So that's perfect because I can put my clutch on there and use it and then drive the gearbox and then go back to the rear end with the chain. And uh and what is this thing has got forward and reverse. It's wait a minute, it's got forward and reverse low, and it's got forward and reverse high. And then it's got uh neutral so hell it's got low gear low low range and high range plus reverse all in the all in the gearbox just according to how you how you shift it here with the shifter so that's gonna solve my problems here guys i believe that's what i put in there if maybe uh that thing there is paid off that thing has been a godsend to me uh I'm having fun guys man this is fun to me I enjoy it I live for this shit this is the kind of shit I enjoy doing is is building something like this uh, seeing seeing what I can take and change it into something else uh, building something from scratch I just enjoy seeing what I can do you know uh, but like I say I'm gonna have the motor sitting in here it's going to be a, I think it's a 13 horsepower, 13 and a half horsepower. I'm going to hop it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do some mods to it. Not not a lot, just just a little bit. I want to, I want to, uh, I want to still stay with the stock rod. So to stay with the stock rod, you don't need to turn it over about five or 6,000 RPM. So, but with low and high range, I should be probably able to get 35 mile an hour maybe in high range. And then I should have a real low range real low low range it should be great for oh and i want to put to i want to make it to you know how them drag racers have uh, like the ones that drive the cars to the drag race and they drive it on the street too and they have this little uh valve in the muffler system i want to put a big ass muffler back here i got one so it can be quiet when i'm going through the woods uh, hunting but then when i want to get out on the road and haul ass and open her up and i need that real exhaust I'm gonna have that have me like a choke cable you pull and do the flapper the word just divert it right into a header you know just straight out be a loud some bitch in <laughs> but it'd be wicked so I say they'll see me and hear me coming and say oh hell we know who that is rally boy and then this one this one uh, I, I don't know I want to make something slick with it uh, I don't know. Hell, I don't know. I got many things I'd like to do. Uh, just don't know. Maybe paint it canary yellow or or, or back red, or pretty red. And back here, put a, put a badass radio system in it and put neon lights under or something. Back here, where this thing is, you can you can you can just round that off. Make a body panel, round it off. Oh man, I seen one somebody had done where they'd rounded it off like that. And they'd put some things on the fenders and all kind of stuff like that. Holy moly! It, I mean, it looked like a little mini, uh, a little mini Cooper or something. Looked badass. And the sharp as a tack. I don't know. So much going on in my head. So much I want to do. Not enough time in the day, guys. Not enough time in the day. But guys, what do you think? She looks badass, don't she? <laughs> oh, I know I about burnt my damn face up. I done done so much welding. I wear a welding helmet, but you know how you do a lot of spot welding, uh, just tacking it here and there before you before you really weld it. And you just close your eyes when you do that. So shit, it's burnt my face up. I mean, it's tight, burning. Yeah, let's see here. This is uh. 22 by 10.5 by 10 is what's on this thing. 22 by 10 by 10. So that's what it's got. That's what was on the golf cart. But what goes on them tires, I think, or what goes on those spindles that I put on there was these tires right here. But I only got three. Cole got the other one, or somebody's got it. It's called dirt hookers. And they are 25 by 10 by 12. 
or that one is and that one is 24 by 10 by 11 those two are 24 by 10 by 11 and the one I'm missing is the 25 by 10 by 12 so I guess those go on the rear those smaller ones went on the front I don't know but anyway I'm missing a dirt hooker so Cole if you're watching this brother find my damn dirt hooker man <laughs> or dirt hooks whatever you call them dirt hooks it's a what I needed a AT 25 by 10 by 12 whoever whoever it is you loaned it to get it back from him I need it put these bigger tires on there and make it jacked up even more oh, brother you could hook me up with them damn badass some bitches you got up there in, in, in your shed I don't know what they are they're sitting on the very bottom but they got knobs on them like this <laughs> They look wicked. I don't know what size they are, but mm, if they fit, if they fit any rim I got, and I could get it on here, that would look wicked. Now I'd have something in. Anyway, something to think about. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta get back to work. I ain't getting nothing done talking to y'all. Catch you later.